Hello there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Cancoli in 2021. After the steps laid out in this video, you will be able to play Cancoli in English. Wow! Links to the resources required are all in the video description. I recommend using a Chrome-based browser like Google Chrome, Opera or Microsoft Edge. Others will lack the browser extensions needed. So without further ado, let's begin. First, we'll go over everything that needs to be installed. We will begin with the English patch. Click on the green code button and download the zip. The patch is about 300 megabytes in size. Move the downloaded zip to a new location. Unpack the zip within. Once extracted, you can go back to the description of the video and click on the second link to download Cancoli Cache Proxy or KCCP for short. On the page, click on one of the first three links depending on your operating system. Most of you will probably want to choose the third link. Once the download is finished, start the installer. After the installation is finished and the proxy launched, check Start in System Tray, bypass checking for gadget updates on gadget server and enable Assets Modifier. Save your settings. Once done, the menu to add asset modifiers will appear. Click on Add a Patcher. Find the English patch folder within the Explorer. Once found, open it and select the file named inpatch.mod. A prompt will appear about the mod. Click OK. The mod is now set up. Now click on the third link. If the one on the left is offline, select the one on the right. This is a dump of the assets of the game to speed up loading times. I heavily recommend getting in for the best possible experience. I recommend about 12 GB of free space for this step. If you don't have that much space on your drive, clear out some files or skip this step. Click on the cache zip file to download it. It is about 5 GB in size. You now have it here. Do not extract it. If you can't find Cancoli Cache Proxy on the taskbar, it is probably hidden in the tray. Click on the little arrow on the bottom right and right click on the Asahu icon. Click on Show to bring it up again. Click on Import Cache Dump. Find the cache zip in the Downloads section, select it and open it. Wait for the extraction to finish. You can follow the progress in the log below. Once finished, check in the stats above if you have around 5 GB of cached assets. If you do, you can scroll down and click on Prepatch All Assets. Now wait for the patching to finish. Once done, Cancoli Cache Proxy is now entirely ready. If an update to the patch is available, go into your English patch folder and click on Quick Updater. The Quick Updater makes sure the update is done by closing Chrome, restarting Cancoli Cache Proxy and downloading the new assets. For now, if you're not using Chrome, you'll have to clear your browser's cache yourself. Now click on the fourth link. Add the extension to your browser. The settings will automatically open afterwards. Skip the guide prompt, then go over to Proxy. 
leak on show advanced. Change the default protocol to direct. Change the HTTP protocol to HTTP. Type localhost in the server section and type 8081 in the port section. Apply the changes. Finally, click on the extensions icon in the top right, click on Switch Omega and choose Proxy. Now click on the fifth link. Add this extension to your browser as well. Once installed, a page about the latest updates will open itself. You can then click on the extensions icon and pin Cancoli Command Center or KC3 for short. Open the sixth link. Download the file by clicking on the top right button. You can then click on the KC3 icon in the top right and go to the strategy room. Scroll down and find import a settings JSON file. Select the right folder, the right file and open. Confirm the importation. You can eventually go into the settings and adjust them to your liking later. For example, you could deactivate the display of the results right at the start of battles. Like so. You can close all of the previously opened tabs. If you don't have a VPN, click on the 7th link to download one. If you are using NordVPN or any VPN that has a similar setting, make sure to disable CyberSack. This will only be useful for the registration. You can uninstall it once you're done. As I already have it installed, I also already have an account. You will need to create one. Select the Japan server. Then turn it on. Change your time zone to GST as well, like shown. Once done, click on the 8th link to head to a DMM registration page. Type the mail address and the password you will use. Be sure to also uncheck the box to avoid receiving Japanese newsletter. Click on the yellow box to register. An email will be sent to your mailbox. If you can't see a DMM mail, Go to all messages or use spam section. Click on the big link to confirm your registration. Finally, Click on the NIF link to go to the Cancoli registration page. Tell Google Translate to shut his mouth by clicking on Never Translate this website as shown. 
Then click on the red button to proceed. Choose your DMM game's nickname, your gender, male or female, and your birthday, year, month, and day. Be sure to uncheck the black box on the bottom to avoid receiving Japanese emails, then click on the yellow button to confirm. You will be headed straight to the game page. If you have this menu here in Japanese or if the screen doesn't load, rewatch the video before this point and check your setup. Click on any server that's not full to start. Let the game load. Then close it. Click on the KC3 icon and load the game from there instead. Hit the F12 key on Windows or Option plus Command plus J on a Mac and then find the hidden Cancoli tab. Deactivate Google Translate again like last time. If you ever need to clear your browser's cache to purge Japanese assets, you can do it like so. You can also bring your clock back to normal. You won't have to touch it again afterwards. Turn off and close your VPN as well. If this warning on the right appears, just close it and ignore. It's not a problem. Be sure to leave the dev tools on the right open. If your screen is too small, you can zoom out on the game or on the dev tools. You can either simply zoom out like this. Or hold control and scroll with your mouse. Try to readjust the panel to avoid having a scroll bar. Make sure the entire panel fits. Press F7 to get some typing time and type your name. If it doesn't work for some reason, type your nickname outside of the Kankuri tab. Copy it and post it right after clicking on the name box using Ctrl V. Choose your starter ship, just pick the one you prefer.
Read the game's a short tutorial to get an early grasp of the gameplay loop. You can change the position of the dev tools if you want. It seems like the patches tutorial assets need a touch up. If you spot anything you'd like to see improved in the patch, you can mention it in the fixed suggestions channel on my Discord server. A link to join my Discord is in the description. You will also get notifications about patch updates there. Before starting the in-game tutorial, I recommend doing some stuff. First, go into the refit menu. Select any of the ship's slots and lock these two items. These are valuable items that will prevent your ships equipped with it to sink once. For now, just save them on the side, you'll only need them much later into the game. Lock any rare equip you'll get for safety. Go now into the quest menu. You can filter quests by type, refresh frequency, or only the active quests. You first need to click on a quest to follow it, otherwise your progress won't be accounted for. You can only select up to 5 quests at a time. For now, since you only have 5, select them all. On the main screen, you have a settings button as well. Use it to adjust the audio or change the top bar skin. Idle voice includes idle lines and hourly lines. Quest girl voice includes quest menu voice and event menu voice. I recommend choosing the second skin instead of the first as it displays more information. Now start the tutorial. Go build a ship. Avoid inputting other recipes for now. Be sure to ask people in the Discord or check the wiki to use the right recipes for the right ship types. You can speed up the construction. These instant construction materials are fairly common. You've then got the dismantlement menu. 
not scrap your new ship. Just be sure to set the equipment scrap setting to store to build up your arsenal. Now add your new ship to your fleet. You can click on the red dot to switch between ship type code or complete name. You can also sort out ships by either level, ship type, new west, or damage level. Choose the ship type sort to easily spot dupes and avoid locking them. I recommend locking every individual ship you get for now. Except again, the duplicates. Lock both of your ships, except if your first construction happens to be a dupe. You can also save fleet presets using the button here on the bottom left. You've cleared several quests in the meantime. Click on them to obtain the rewards. Be sure to click on the new ones as well. Let's As cash dumps can't always be up to date, you'll have some long loading like this at times. In most cases, don't worry and just let it load. Choose exercise squad 1 to get stronger opponents. The higher level the first two ships are, the more XP you'll get. You don't have to repair ships after PvP matches, so it's a perfect way to level up your ships. Here is the current event. If you see one ongoing, you shouldn't dive right in, as it requires some preparation first. Head simply to the first map instead. If you have 4 ships or more, you get to choose a formation. Just use liner head for now, this is the default go-to offensive formation. Right now, all of the ships in your fleet are medium damage or higher. This means it is safe to proceed to the next node. If you have a heavily damaged ship, you should never ever proceed, otherwise she'll be sunk with all of her levels and equipment on the next battle. It's that easy to avoid permadeath. Red HP equals no good. Yeah. <laughs> 
少々弾幕が薄い気がしますいけー Your ship just got heavily damaged. Nine battles count as the same battle, so you can safely pursue it. The firepower and torpedo stats are added together during the night, giving ships such as destroyers a stronger punch. <laughs> Make sure to resupply your girls at the end of sorties. You have several options to do so, as shown. Then, head to the docks menu to repair your damaged ship girls. Try to save up instant repair materials as much as you can. They are not really especially rare, but you will need them a lot. Don't forget to check the quests as well. Here are some of our menus you can go to. Check the furniture store now and after updates to see if any piece of furniture is available for free. Furniture coins are available to get in-game through expeditions and quests. You can set your newly bought furniture using this menu. And that covers it. I'll eventually do other tutorial videos in the future. You've also got two more menus with some stuff, but I won't go into detail. I'll also probably update the title and update each year if the process remains up to date. If you need help, either for the setup or the game itself, reminder that you can find the link to my Discord in the description. It's important to connect with the community in this game. I hope this video was useful to you and if you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment and subscribe to give this video more visibility. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!